In Business Central, we have the ability to import and export information between Business Central and our bank. In setting up what we call the data exchange definitions, we may find that the information and the data as it's presented in Business Central is not the way that the bank wants us to represent that data when we export it to them. An example of this would be in a positive pay file. For Chase positive pay, there is requirement to indicate the record or check type as being either a payment or a void. In Business Central, a payment is represented as an O and a void is represented by a V. Chase would like to see this information represented as an I for payment and a C for avoid. To have this map correctly and provide the data as the bank would like to see it, we need to go to our data exchange definition. In the data exchange definition for Chase positive pay, I can come down to the line definitions and manage my field mapping. This is where we will help Business Central interpret the data as it is in Business Central to the form that Chase requires. To do this, we will create transformation rules. For this file, record type is the field that indicates check type for Chase. If we go over to the transformation rule field, we can click on the lookup and add a new transformation rule. The rule we're going to add is for Chase payments. My code represents Chase and payment, and my description, which can be longer, is listed as Chase payment. My transformation type is a replace. So now what I have is a rule that's been created for Chase Payments where I'm going to indicate when I find a value in Business Central that is an O, I want to replace it for Chase output with an I. I'm going to save this rule. The other side of this rule is the void. I will again create a transformation rule and this time I will make it for Chase void. Again, it is a replacement rule. And in this case, I'm going to find the V in Business Central and replace it with a C for my Chase file output. To tie the two rules together, I can go to my Chase void rule, selecting it from the full list and edit, and add the next transformation rule of Chase pay to piggyback the two rules together. Now, when chase void is run and completed, it will run the chase payment transformation rule. We have now completely defined the record type for output in chase's terms, translating what Business Central provides us to the chase values requested. Mm -hmm.